Hey folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. So, today, I might... I've, I've got some mail. There we go. From Miss Mucky Pup. Now, Miss Mucky Pup has only just joined the guild. Like, well, about a week ago. I just promoted her yesterday, actually. At Rawhide Tunic. Right there. See that? She's only just joined the guild, and she's already gone and found and donated, given me... She's a brand new player, by the way. As far, well, as, at least as far as I know, she's a brand new player. I've not even had the chance to meet her and speak to her in Guild yet. I've not been online at the same time as her. I've missed her by less than an hour a couple of times. But she has now given me the Rawhide Tunic. That was the final piece we wanted for our outfit. For our absolutely glorious, wonderful outfit. So, current right there. If I go there and just save... Yes, to make sure that we do actually have current on. And then Rawhide right here. We'll equip this one. We have the Dogebi, Dogebi chest guard. We've, we've been wearing the Dogebi chest guard to go with our Rawhide outfit. The thick cloak does actually fit the Rawhide outfit. However, the chest guard does not. It sort of does. We've got a red headband as well that we got from... Um, um, our adventures in Red Ridge. We've got rawhide boots and everything. So let's take this one off right there and add the rawhide chest piece. There it is! We now have the complete outfit. I don't know if there's actually a rawhide belt. I have no idea, but uh, yeah, we, we've got the outfit. We'll look for a belt maybe at some point, but we now have the complete outfit. Thank you very much, Miss Mucky Pup. That is absolutely fantastic. I am thrilled to bits about this. That is absolutely awesome. So that one there can go. Rawhide kit. Save. Yes. Brand new piece of set. There we go. This this is this is just brilliant. I am so thrilled about this. Absolutely delighted. We've been wanting this one for a very long time. Thank you so much for adding that to our collection there. That is absolutely brilliant. Miss Mucky Pup, you are a legend. Absolute legend. Is this the point where I tell you that this the reason we haven't bought it yet from the auction house is that when we've seen it on there, it's been selling for like 1,500 gold? Um... I'm assuming you're aware of that because I don't know now. Let me know. You, you, when I speak to you, if you want the 1500 gold, we'll pay you the 1500 gold. We've now got the... We've been, we've been waiting for this for ages. You know what? I think this does actually deserve... I, I think this has earned her a place in the book because that's, that's quite a big thing. You know, we, we've been looking for this for absolutely ages. It's taken... And we, we have not had any luck with trying to get this piece because... Um, yeah. We'll... we'll uh, the, I'm adding your name to the book. Miss Mucky Pup. Miss Mucky Pup is now in the book. You are one of the named Frith Guardians here with us all now. Uh, Robo Chick, we've got an anodized Robo Cub over there. We've got another anodized Robo Cub over there. I want to go down here to Collections a Minute Pet Journal, Zone Tracker right there. Robo Chick, Snowy Owl, Alpine Hair, Crystal Spider. Those are the ones. So the, 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 um, the, the chick. It's around here somewhere. We've got Robocub, Robocub, Anodized Robocub, more Robo... I, I, I want the chickens! I, I want you to give me chickens! What's that? Robocub. Seriously, chicken, right there. See, Robo Chick, level 1 critter. Let's go. I, I know what we can do. We can go around and we can destroy the pet battle Robocubs over here. If I do that a minute... Just destroy those. Actually, I need to destroy these as well so that then they respawn as the right ones. We've got... Uh, I've already got one of those, the, the, the nut varmint one. So if I go show captured as well, the rabid nut varmint is actually... I got that one. I've leveled that one up to level 25. So that one's, that one's less important. But these... I'm out of range. These right here. These chickens. We'll kill those. We will also take out the anodized Robo Cubs as well, so that um, we, we can get some. We, we want to get some respawns so that we can get ourselves a new pet. And I'm going to have Miss Mucky Pup around with me today because look, 
We've, we've got it. Look, I'm running around with my fish weapon right there. Absolutely brilliant. My fish weapon and my full rawhide outfit. This is so cool. I've got the rawhide outfit. Hang on. There we go. Screenshot like that. I can't really show the fish off. Uh, you know what? We, we, we need to do this at a slightly different angle, I think. If, if we go there, maybe, then we can... Yeah, there we go. We got the light on us. We got the mountains behind us. Now we look elegant and grand. Elegant and grand. That's what we're all about. Okay, we've had enough of elegant and grand. Let's go. We've got anodized robo cubs everywhere. There's another one down there. I don't want to be capturing robo cubs today. The, the idea is not to be capturing robo cubs. The idea is to be capturing the chickens. We want the chickens. That's what we're after. Let's go and get uh, you as well. Why aren't you dead? Why aren't you dead? Took him long enough, didn't it? He's a pet, isn't he? He's, isn't he a, just like an ordinary little pet? So look, he's got 31 health. How has he got 31 health? That's, that's... It's not actually a critter, though, is he? It just says mechanical. It doesn't actually say that he's a pet. It's just saying mechanical. But that's all we've got around here is the cubs. So where... I don't have a target. I'm starting to wonder if you can only get the cubs around here. And that these robo chicks, you don't actually get them as pets in this particular region. Yeah, take him. And I'm going to ignore the goblin commoners. I think those are for... And actually, what event are those? That's still the pilgrim's bounty. Pilgrim's bounty will soon be finished. We've got more chickens here. I'm beginning to think that maybe the chickens don't do anything in this zone and maybe we've got to get them some other way although it's it's on there robo chick it's saying robo chick right there there's a a rabbit what is that rabbit anodized spring tranquil mechanical yeti alpine chickmunk that one's not even on the list and it's still wandering around maybe that one's not one that we can capture it may not be one that we can capture. Uh, I've gone round and round and round. We've got, looks like we've got respawns here, but... Nope, it's all anodized robo cubs in this region. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get our chicken just at the moment. It absolutely does not look like we're going to be getting ourselves our mechanical chicken right now. Which is bitterly disappointing. But if we can find another one of these pets somewhere, then we'll get one of those. We need to get changed again. Now we've basked in the glory of our wonderful new set. Thank you so much, Miss Monkey Pup. That is absolutely awesome. So we will equip this lot. Let's just make sure that our new rawhide tunic has been put away properly. Yes, it has. It's over there. So that one now, the Do Dokebi chest guard. That one's going to be sold. That, that one's moving out. It's no longer going to be part of things. Alex down there, our current anodized RoboCub. He will be leaving the fold soon. Well, not leaving the fold. We're going to keep him. We're not getting rid of him. We're not just going to turn him out into the snow. Uh, but what we will, we'll, we'll be uh, ho hopefully finding another pet. And normally I would carry on down the list and go to the next one on the list. Alpine Chipmunk. Well, we've only got a grey Alpine Chipmunk. So we might get something with that. <laughs> oh, yes! We got a proper upgrade this time. Oh, that is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. We capture this one. Miss Mucky Pup, you are an alpine chipmunk. Whether you like it or not. And, yes, I'm, I'm highly unorthodox today because I'm so thrilled about this um, chess guard that we got. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, we're going to... Um, I mean, I'm going to jump the queue with the name. And this one's going to be called Miss Monkey Pup. And she's going to join us for, the t uh, for today. And then tomorrow I will go back to where I was in the list. And we'll carry on doing uh, going down through the list. So let me just see if I can capture this one. There we go. Right. So that one's all captured. Neatly put away. So now we've still got to win the rest of the battle. So I'm going to switch over now to Alfred. Uh, not pass. Switch pet. Going to go to Alfred over here because we've got two crystal spiders now. Well, yeah, a spider and a crystal spider. We haven't collected the crystal spider either, but that's a blue quality right there. We definitely want that one. And we do a lot of damage against these with our turrets because these are versus beast. 
versus Beast, you do a lot of damage. So we will very, very quickly take these down, especially considering they're only level 18. There we go. There's one down already. <laughs> See what I mean? It's really, really quick. Um, Beast deal 25% extra damage when they're below half health. Which can be quite good, except that I'm quite hardcore. See? And he's only a grey quality. Ooh, he survived! I did not expect. I'm going to build another turret. There we go. i got six bullets coming against you now, Sunshine. What are you going to do? Not very much. <laughs> We've got a new pet. We've got a blue quality alpine chipmunk. That is absolutely brilliant. We have, we're starting off well today. A new raw hide tunic and our first pet battle, we actually got a blue quality pet from it. Now this one here, this is old grey quality. We're getting rid of that one. Uh, release. Yes. Fairly well. Goodbye. Alfie de Zane. And... Right. Summon. And then rename. So you are Miss Mucky Pup. There we go. Accept. Miss Mucky. It, it doesn't capitalize the, the, the rest of it. But anyway, Miss Mucky Pup right there. There is our new, new pet. There you go. Miss Mucky Pup. I suppose really we should have had a puppy as Miss Mucky Pup. But uh, Miss Mucky Pup for now is a squirrel. Just for those of you who weren't aware. Let's go over this way and let's mount up onto our Winter Spring Frost Saber. And now for more serious things. We're a serious paladin and we're going to go into serious battle. And we have serious problems to deal with by the look of it. We've got suffering highborn everywhere down here. Uh, yeah. Bad things could be happening around here. So we need to go and take the crudely written log to Kelek Skykeeper at Lake Kel Keltheril. Keltheril is right here. And it's all frozen over, so there's a lack of fishing around these parts. We do need to do some fishing. Now, I may well go and do a load of fishing. Um, I was hoping to have done a live stream this weekend. A short one on here just to kind of get things set up a bit. And another live stream on Farming Simulator on the Saturday evening. I was not able to do that. So I'm hoping that maybe this coming weekend. And I am considering either doing a bit on Frithgar with my live stream. Or maybe doing some on this character. Just going and doing a load of fishing. Not doing anything else. Just fishing. Um, it could be particularly missing. interesting. But it could be, you know, at least we'll level up our fishing without it taking up a regular episode. Uh, words of the High Chief. What is it you carry, Paladin? Yes, if you let me examine this for a while, I might be able to translate it for you. Kelleck flips through the pages. When I am able to look over this fully, I will send word to you. Thank you for sharing this with me, Grundorm. Very little is known about the Winterfall Firbolg. So we can have a trinket that is Strength of the High Chief, which gives us 13 strength. Or we have that one which gives us absolutely nothing. It's a, um, a holy one. So we'll take the 13 strength right there. Now, those that we've got, this one here just gives us 13 strength, right? It's a straight 13 strength. And then we can use the other one, Omerian's Gift. But we'll take that one anyway. Um, we can, yeah, you, you're going to have to wait. May the stars guide you. May the stars guide you. And the strength of the High Chief, right here. Now, we can, we've can we got one, the dodge one, we don't want to get rid of that one. But we've got another one that has cooldown on it that increases our strength by 34 for 20 seconds, 2 minute cooldown. Handy at times, but we can replace that with 13 strength. We will lose 11 critical strike if we do that. Do I want to lose 11 crit and the additional you know cooldown bit on there? Or not? Is a, you know, overall strength increase. Lose a bit of critical strike. Like, let's, let me swap them over a minute. Let's see which one. No, it's, it's, that's the dodge. I don't want to do the dodge one. There. Right, so we've got, at the moment, 11% crit. And there's a 11% crit chance. And increased parry chance by 3.54 with extra strength. Um, so we've got strength overall of 272. If I swap that one over, it goes down to 259. Um, parry chance. Actually, the parry chance goes up by quite a bit. Critical strike chance on there is 13%. So then I take this one here and I swap it over. That drops down to 11. Uh, that one goes up. 
Increase parry chance by 3.54. And what did this one do? Oh, even though I'm dropping it on here, it's swapping over the wrong one. I don't want to swap that one. I'll swap those two over there. Uh, right, strength 272. 3.54 and crit of 11%. So then I take Omerian's gift and I swap it with the High Chief one there. Strength, that's 3.21. So it's, it's not like a major difference, but I do think it is a bit of an improvement. The critical chance... Got some versatility down there at 1%. Uh, I swap that one back over there. Okay, I think that this is a slight improvement. A little bit of an improvement. We've got that one there, which is our dodge, which I want to keep. So, yeah, I've, I, it's a slight improvement. It's not like a massive thing, but I do think it is an improvement. At this lake, the crystal of Zin Malor was stolen by the Highborn. The crystal was a powerful artifact that bent arcane magic in wild and unpredictable ways. But it could only be held by the worthy and brought doom upon all others. The spirits that wander here span generations, each shackled here by Zin Malor. Some will speak and tell their fates. Should you wish to learn the fate of Zin Malor, seek the spirit at the center of the lake. Go in peace. Go in peace. Okay, we need to feet. seek the spirit at the center of the lake. We'll try to avoid all of the crazy people around here. And there is a spirit. Oh, there he is. That one right there. He might be able to tell us more. Here we go. Kaldurai spirit. How may I help? Pity me, stranger, and all the highborn, for it was here our folly began. A folly that cursed our children and our children's children to this day. Ten thousand years ago, the highborn lived here in prosperity. We considered ourselves above the common ranks of the other night elves, with our every need met by magic and wealth. We led lives of indulgence and amusement and greed. The spirits you see here are overwhelmed with remorse and regret. Their anguish chains them here. If you wish to learn more of Kel'Thoril and Zin Malor, free them from their agony. Till next we meet. Till next we meet. Okay, so we need to get Highborn Spirits, which is the Anguished Highborn here. And the Anguished Highborn here. My children, what have I done? Suffering Highborn. I need to get closer. Right there. And then you over there. Uh, there. And then there's another one over here. Bring you in as well. Can we do this? Can we take them all down. Uh, we might be able to just pop that one and pop that one. That one I don't have anymore. So I don't want to actually click on that one. I will do this. I will throw that one down and I'll heal myself up a minute and I will do that. There we go. I've got that. Thank you. Uh, you're, you're, you're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help. As always, Frithgar is here to help. So there's another one. Take that one out. And we've got some more here. I'll just, I keep this one running there. And relief at last. We go. Take you down. Leave now. You do not deserve to suffer the crystal's wrath. Okay, so leave now. I thought he was being aggressive with his leave now. But he wasn't. He was thankful for me to laying him to rest. And he was just giving me fair warning. Relief at last. Okay. Uh, we only got a little bit of money. Is that all? Just money. I want more than money. Now that one there, Omerian's Gift, that's our strength increase. I want to drop that one off there so I don't accidentally click on it. We will have some Seasoned Wolf Kebab. And then we will also have the Dark Moon Fire Water in just a minute. I need just three more. Just three more to lay to rest. And our job here is done. At least our first job is done. We will have many more jobs. There is an Anguished Highborn. There is an Anguished Highborn, and there is one over there. There we go. Very quickly take these away. out. Very easy, very simple little task this one's going to be. I will pop that one, and that one, and then I will shield that one there, and then I'll hit that one again, and again, and once more, and then I've already done like a load of damage to them. Shield on these, there we go. And I'll, I'll pop that down onto the ground, and then there's another one, and... Leave now, you do not deserve to suffer the crystal's wrath. Boom. Got some mage weave cloth now. Okay, this is good. 
This is good. We, we're getting we're getting all sorts of stuff. Mage weave and well, we got some rune cloth as well. But the mage weave was um, more useful, I think. What do we want? That was making those um, boots, wasn't it? The crystal of Zin Malor was stolen from a far off temple without remorse. Its ability to control the arcane was too tempting, and when it was toyed with, its shattering cursed us all. Kel'Thirill suffered until the sundering destroyed it for good. The curse of Zin Malor binds all who seek its power here. I was the first to fall to its temptation. Thousands of years later, a long lost descendants would be next. Not long after my death, the greed of my people would lead to their exile. A continent away, they would become Keldurai, the High Elves. In Kel'Thalas, they would bathe in the power of their Sunwell and forget their legacy of desire and greed. These distant descendants returned here, drawn by the hand of fate, doomed to repeat history. Hear their tale now, as I have. Be careful. Can I assist you? We were proud and noble. Our faith in the light protected us. With the sun well, we wanted for nothing. Because of that blindness, we came here to repeat the tragedy of history as our entire race would in time. One hundred years ago, I and a small group of other High Elves travelled here from our homeland, Kel'Thalas. We sought the ancient mysteries of Kel'Thoril, and to find why it was destroyed, we found fragments in the ice, shards of the crystal. The Archmage we accompanied did not take long to fall under their sway. In our foolishness, we noticed too late. His spirit wanders in the southeast, among those he drove to madness, still clutching the memory of the precious shard. Good luck, friend. Okay. The mystery deepens. We've got... Basically, so the, the High Elves, they came here and um, they had a, a whole load of stuff happen to them. Um, you know, they, they got greedy with the magic and the magic ended up killing them. Uh, but then on top of that, they, they it wasn't just that they got greedy with the magic and the magic ended up killing them. They also... I've uh, got to be careful here. Um, then that they didn't learn from their lesson. You know, that these ancestors from thousands of years ago, they came here and died. But then just more recently, others came here and died as well. So there seemed to be like, you know, this, this area here, there is, it's steeped in ancient history of high elves and elves and night elves and all of them. And basically this place is bad. This place is bad for the elves. Not good. Right, Archmage Manius. You don't understand. I had to study it. I had to. That's a bit cheeky. Ah, you're stuck in the snow now. What are you gonna do, what are you gonna do now? I am all powerful. I am a paladin. I wield the holy light. And your magic is useless against me. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I ah, he, he got there, right. Uh now he's doing that. I'll interrupt him. That that'll hold him down for a bit. That that'll 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 I need to target something first. Forgive me. Memory of Zin Malor, a spectral and wispy image of a crystal crystal shard. Okay, let's go back over to that dude. See what else has happened. We've got to also try to avoid these rangers because uh, they're, they're, they're not particularly friendly. Sometimes it's better to run through one than it is to try to dodge two. Because just running through one will only aggravate that one. Whereas if you try to go between two, you can very often end up aggravating both of them. Um, so yeah, it is sometimes better. And he's run away anyway. Okay. Hello. Hello. Manius was a powerful mage and an honorable elf. His spirit did not deserve such an ignoble fate. We were shocked before we died. Shocked that one among our noble and austere kind could descend into vicious obsession so quickly. We died as naive fools, the victims of our own blithe assumptions. The living would know that these events would play out yet again, both here and among the entire elven race with the fall of Kel'Thalas. Ooh, we've leveled up. Nice, we're level 56. Brilliant. Long after my death, my people would suffer an even greater... Oh, hang on. Blessing of Sacrifice. We've learned a new one. That's right there. 
Uh, bless the party or raid member, reducing their damage taken by 30%, but you suffer 100% of damage prevented. Okay. Uh, not so useful to us. A new PvP talent is available. I keep getting told that new PvP talents are available. It's never there. There aren't no... Uh, no, there are not. Don't lie to me. Right? Do not lie to me. Till next it's, not, it's not under achievements. It's, um... Nope, it's not under there. Uh, nope, it's not under there. Specializations and talents. I've got Shield of the Virtue. It is right. Oh, there, new. I see. Right, I, I just got to look at it, but I, I, I'm not interested. Go away. I just looked at it. What else do you want from me? Unlocks at level 70. Nope. I looked at it, right? I went and looked at it. I don't want to change it. I'm not interested in doing PvP. Go away. What brings you here? Does, I, I don't know why it keeps doing that. But anyway, long after my death, my people would suffer an even greater mistake. The High Elves relied on the sun well and its glory, never imagining a world without it. We would never make preparations to deal with such a fate. Later, when the sun well fell to the forces of the undead, what was left of my descendants would be lost and helpless, and the path they would take in response would change them forever. The Sindurai, still striving for redemption, would return here as well. Speak with the Sindurai spirit. Be careful. This is what the Blood Elves. Have you? We were not naive as our forefathers were. We were suspicious and cunning and ready for betrayal at every turn. Yet our pride and greed drove us to ruin once more. How many more will be lost to Kel'Thoril? One year ago, the legend of the Crystal of Zin Malor reached Silvermoon, and I led a group of the finest warriors and scholars available to this land. We brought ample mana crystals, so none of us would be tempted to taste the crystal itself. The crystal did not need our hunger to ruin us. Once in our possession, it warped all but me into wretched beasts. The wretched souls still wander, seeking more lives to chain to this lake. Will you give them mercy, or flee to die on safer ground some day? Keep your wits about you. Keep your wits about you. Okay, we need to go over here to the wretched spectres. They have been warped and twisted, they have. Warped and twisted beyond all recognition. I'm out of range. I feel for these poor wretched souls. I do. Take you down, and how many more can I get? There's one over there that I want to get. Come in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna summon you in. There we go. And you're running away. Don't you dare. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to be getting lots of them. Here we go. Let's, let's get another one. Leroy Jenkins. I'm gonna do this so many times. It's gonna really annoy everybody. <laughs> okay. That was maybe... I, 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 I've gone too many. I went too far. I took it too far. I did too much. Go. Go. Take them down. It's difficult to route. Actually, no. We, we haven't taken it too far at all. This, this is relatively simple to take these down. The whole point of Leroy Jenkins is it's supposed to be a suicidal run. You're not supposed to be able to make it out alive. We're, we're going to have to do that. We are going to have to do that. I only got five there. Let's go and get another one. Um... Take you down over there, and I'll take you down right there. Go on. Take these. This this is going to be easy. There's something going on over there. I don't know what that is. That's, that's a, a mana worm of some kind, isn't it? We'll soon find out. I suspect that our adventure is going to take us over there in just a minute. We just finish this one. Finish him off with one final little wallop. There we go. And the Mage Weave. Let's not forget the Mage Weave. Okay. Back onto our noble steed. And we can go running back over this way. Look, see, there's there's something going on over there. I don't know what it is, but there is something. The Cinderai. Anaria Shola. Anaria Shola. The living far strider who sent you here could not bear to see our fate. He ran a wise decision. If one now holds the crystal of Zin Malor again, it will spell the doom for all around them. It should never have been reassembled. Oh, we got to choose. We, we, wait a minute. One, one-handed. This is a holy specialization. This is no good to us. That is one-handed as well, which is no good to us. We want a mace. We want. We, we, we're after a mace. Um, I don't even know if we can use one. I think we can. Yeah, we can. Of course, we can. One-handed sword. 
Uh, three. And you know, that one's the more valuable one. We'll take that. And then here we've got held in offhand. No, we don't want that either, but we take it. Like, that's the one that goes. Ooh. 500 quests completed. That's not bad. You've seen enough. Know that the crystal of Zin Malor brings only ruin to all around it. Leave this place if you do not wish to join us. Return to Kellek Skykeeper at Lake Kelthorel in Whispers. The master would have you silent. What is going on here? Fear not, Zin Malor. It will never belong to another. Uh. Okay. The mystery deepens. We went here seeking answers. And we have more questions now than we had when we began. What is going on? Let's go and speak to this. So, are you to do with this a Kellic Sky Keep? You're the Emerald Circle. You're supposed to be wiser. More sensible. The Shade. Yes, I saw it too. You said spoke of a master. One who holds in Malor. This is grave news. You must act, Paladin. I saw the Shade fly off to the south. Take the path to the upper ruins, and you may be able to climb the frozen waterfall after it. And do not let your guard down. It may be waiting for you. Good luck, friend. Okay. Things are getting more serious now. We've got a shade. A, a deep, dark shade. And we also have the possibility that someone has Zin Malor. And this, this could spell certain doom for the entire world. Um... Why have they always got to play with things that spell certain doom for the entire world? We don't want to spell certain doom for the entire world. You know, can't we just, like, you know, play with bunny rabbits or something? Just once. Just once can't we play with bunny rabbits instead of doom for the entire world? Why is it always got to be the doom for the entire world? There he is. You know what this reminds me of? Donkey Kong. Right here. Arcane Rollers. We're playing Donkey Kong right here. You know this, don't you? We are actually playing Don... What happens if we go through an arcane roller? Ah. Okay, we are playing Donkey Kong. Ha, 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 ha. Brilliant. We're playing Donkey Kong. You are facing the wrong way. No, I'm not. Shade of the Spirit Seeker. We will bring you down. And you will answer for your crime. Why do you hold this... Trinket? This, this thing... This thing that could destroy the entire world. You should not have it in your possession. You should not, I tell you. I'm going to stun you now. Just sit there in timeout and think about what you've done. Okay? Right, I hope you've learned your lesson. Shard of the Spirit Seeker. Right, uh, we need to run this one back now and turn this one in. And then once we've done that, maybe we will have the next clue. Shard of the Spirit Seeker. So what are we going to find? What are we going to find out? Actually, I'm, I'm quite keen to find out what we're going to find out now. This this is um, this, this mystery is deepening. We have alpine hair and an alpine. Ch this is one that we haven't got over there. Nope, nope. One pet per day. That I've, that that has got to be my rule. One pet per day. I have it. I have the clue. Now tell us. Answer my Please questions. What is you. this? Did you find the shade? Was anything left to indicate its origin? Let me see. Faintly written among the engraved incantations. Is the name of its master, Umbrans. I've heard tales of Umbrans, though I have not met him, not ever met him in person. Rumor has that he's been collecting magical artifacts, though for what purpose I couldn't say. Best pass this information on to a trusted ally, Nim, the High Elf, can be found within Everlook, the large goblin town to the northeast. Tell him all that we have learned today. Delnadris. I will do this. You can count on me. Brother Kellick. Brother Kellick, you can count on me. I will do this. I, I will carry out my sacred trust. Carry out the sacred mission. So we're going to hearth over to Ever Everlook a minute. And then we can also start gathering up some of the quests that we've got around there. And we're going to speak to all of them just at the moment. We need to speak to Nim. One of the few high elves that are left in the world. There are not many of these left now. I am honored. I am honoured. Umbrans, I see. I will carry this information on to my people. You will be contacted if you are needed again. That's it? Good luck, friend. Seriously? You're just dismissing me as though I'm some sort of errand boy? I didn't see you down there helping out, did I? I'm si I'm really annoyed with him right now. 
I am really, really annoyed. Nim? No. Uh, this is this is unacceptable. Although, quite frankly, dude, that is some seriously wickedly cool armor that you have got on right there. Like seriously, I am. I'm, I'm. I'm ready to forgive you for you know that that suit of armor. That is just. That is just wicked cool set of armor. Is that not a wicked cool set of armor? Perfect for ice as well. That that is that like, awesome. I want a set of armor like that. Nim, you will be forgiven if you give me your armor. Strip. Strip, I tell you. He doesn't seem to be cooperating. Okay, fine. We'll try and strip him later. Um, now, we've got goblin commoners around here with a few quests. And there are other commoners over there. But there is a different quest that I would like to do that I've not actually done. Uh, Kelderice Seed. I tell you what, that Kelderice Seed would probably have fit quite well considering the quest line that we've just done. But we're, we're not going to take that one now. Nope, we're going to come out here. We're going to come on down here. And right here, the Goblin Commoner, we've got the Sweet Potato Chair, the Cranberry Chair, the Turkey Chair, the Pie Chair, and the Stuffing Chair. I'm not so keen on Sweet Potatoes. I don't like stuffing. Cranberries, I can take it or leave it. Turkey, always good. Pie. Sweet, tasty, delicious pie. You know, you know where I'm heading. You know where I'm heading. Yo! Yo! Won't you celebrate Pilgrim's Bounty with us, Grundon? It's time for reflecting on your journey and your good fortune. Sharing plentiful food and stories with friends. You can partake of a wonderful Pilgrim's Bounty Feast near major towns by sitting at a bountiful table and serving the foods you find there. If you're interested in learning how to cook a traditional Pilgrim's Bounty foods, seek out Gregory Tabor. You'll find him just outside of Stormwind's Gates. Have a good one. Have a good one. Um... Right, I, I I don't want to go just outside of Stormwind, but the time I get to outside of Stormwind, I'm not going to be able to do anything. I'm, I'm, I'm going to sit on the pie chair. Look! I can have pie. Pass the pie. Pass a serving of pie to another plate. Can I eat pie? Feast on pie! Eat five helpings of pie but you become well fed. We've had a helping of pie. Uh, five minutes remaining. That is, that is pie helping. Oh! I see. So you, we've, we've got to stuff multiple helpings of pie. Here we go. I'm feasting on pie. This this is what you got to do. You you have to enjoy the pie. You have to you have to stuff multiple pie. I, this one here. I'm I'm going to abandon this one because we're we're not going to be able to do this one today. Uh, yes, abandon. Fairly well. Right. More pie. There we go. Critical strike increased by five. We've eaten pie. We've had the pie. We've eaten the pie. I'm I'm very pleased now that we've eaten the pie. Let's, let's, let's leave the chair. Let's come over here. Stuffing. I don't like stuffing, but I'm, I'm going to eat the stuffing anyway because this um, it, it, it will help. Good stuffing is always good. Apparently, I don't like stuffing. don't like it at all. Really don't like it. I'm going to pass the stuffing. Where does that go? Is that, has that gone to another plate? It doesn't appear to have gone to another plate. There's pie over here. I, I don't know why we want to pass the stuffing. I'm going to go round and I'm going to pass it. So I've, I've, I've had five helpings of that one. And we're going to come on now. And when we go to the sweet potatoes. I don't like sweet potatoes either. I'm very fussy. Although sweet potatoes, I don't know. It's, it, it, it's, a, it's a weird combination they are. So let's have some sweet. Let's, let's feast on the sweet potatoes. We will get some more haste. This will give us an hour of haste. Wait a minute. Versatility increased by five. Do I get the buff for all of them or is it only the last one? I'm very suspicious right now that I only get one of these buffs. I do. I only get one of these buffs. Let's move on to here. We will pass the cranberries. And we will eat the cranberries. So the cranberries give us mastery. Mastery is okay. It does, in it does increase things. I think versatility is the one. We may go back and have more pie in a minute. More pie is, is never going to hurt us. So here we go. We have, we have another wonderful feast right here. Pilgrim's Bounty Feast. Uh, I've eaten five portions of that. Five portions of cranberries. And the turkey chair. The final chair. There we go. We, we're, we're going to stuff turkey. We go like that. There we go. Stuffing the turkey. Turkey's good. Hang on. I forgot what number I need to press. Right. Uh, number one to pass the turkey. Ooh. What did I get? Uh, sharing is caring. There we go. Pass one of every dish at a bountiful table. And then we're also going to stuff ourselves silly with plenty of turkey. So let's, uh, let's do that, and then we, we can keep eating turkey. I'm sat inside the chair at the moment. I'm, I'm sat in a high chair. That's what it is. I'm sat in a high chair eating turkey. 
I, th I, th I think right, I've, I've, I've eaten enough. There we go. Oh. Increased reputation, the spirit of sharing. Stamina increased by 11. Where's my other buffs gone? The other bits gone? They're, they're, they've all disappeared. Um, increased reputation gained by 10% last one hour. Uh, increased stamina by... And I forgot the... That World of Warcraft thing increases all experience and reputation gains by 14% for one hour. Requires the 14th anniversary. So we can use that. We're going to drop that one in on there so that we can, we do remember to use it. Let's go back onto the pie chair. Now this one is stamina. It's, it's stam stamina's uh, marginal, isn't it? So we're, we're going to eat five portions of pie right now. If we have the five portions of pie, we've got the uh, reputation gains. That's going to be good. I hope that doesn't disappear when we log out, because we are about to look. We're, we're going to be logging out. We're, we're not going to start loading new quests now. We might go and pick a couple up. There we go. Right, I've now got critical... I don't want that either. I don't, which which one do I want? Right, uh, well, for uh, haste, versatility, mastery. How much is it by? By five. You know, honestly, it's not actually that much of a boost. Let's 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 give up with um, the, the, the pilgrim stuff. We've we, we've we've eaten enough. We've eaten lots. We don't need more. So we now wander around up in here. Sia has come online. I haven't been online when very many of these people have been online for quite a while. Goblin coming. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Uh oh, Gregory. Keep it real. Tabor. Yeah, they're, they're they're all Gregory. Okay. Um, by the time we come back in here, we're not going to have. What are you doing? <laughs> Did I seriously just have a goblin moonwalk backwards right past me and then carry on her merry as though nothing had happened? I did, didn't I? I, 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 I wasn't just imagining that, was I? That, I did actually see that. Please tell me someone else seen that, because otherwise um, my, my coffee is stronger than I thought it was. <laughs> that was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. Right, let's go in here and have a look. I know that the innkeeper's got something. Got the best deals anywhere. Got the best deals anywhere. I get a lot of mail, Grundorn. Most of it is junk, but some of them might be helpful to a helpful paladin like you. Here's a couple letters sent to have a look. Oh, yeah, we already looked at those. No, Keep I'm not interested. Real. Keep it real. Good morning, my king. I could get used to that kind of greeting. Good morning, commoner. Um, good morning, commoner. There we go. Right. I have deigned to say good morning. You should be grateful. And what do we got in here? We've got a heavy armor merchant, a light armor merchant, a weaponsmith, and a gunsmith. I thought they had a quest in here. Apparently, they do not. Let's have a look. Uh, heavy armor I merchant. I got what you need. I got what you need. Do you? No, you don't. You got nothing but junk. Have a good one. Yeah. Sure, I will. Right. Uh, yep. Yeah, that's another goblin commoner. That's 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 just the same quest all over the place. It's no good to me. We have to go and find something else. But anyway, that's all we got time for today. So we'll come back and we'll give this another go another time. Um. And we'll see if we can actually find a another quest to do. That that would be another good thing. Uh, but yeah, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.